How's it going, just mates? This is Mr. Charles. We're back with Clanner, with Kotomi Echinose, our girl, the library queen. And there's that other girl as well, but this one's actually smarter than that other girl, Miyazawa. Anyway, previously we were sharing lunch and stuff, talking about where we're going to go for college and all that. And then, and then we were given some bread, and we were like, what the fuck? Turned into an eagle, basically. Uh, some kind of, you know, bird creature. Anyway, what was up with the bread? I don't know, let's find that out now. I'm about to take it the bread. But then my eyes widen. We're doing half these, so why are there three pieces? Well, that's what you were worried about? I thought there was like an insect on it or some shit. I halved each of the colours of the three coloured bread. She unnecessarily deft. Deft? I guess that's a word that exists. I mean, you must have really looked into the Oxford Dictionary for that one. I did this so we can enjoy doing half these. She smiles proudly. Well, good for you. I guess I've got to enjoy, you know, three of a kind with that. So, a good thing if you're playing uh, playing cards. The bell rings and lunchtime officially starts. Oh yeah, because the fourth period thi Yeah, okay, cool. I can hear the noises from the front yard through the open window. Students eating their lunch on the grass, the sounds of them joking around with each other. Being social, being normal kids, unlike us. Kotomi is the only one outside that circle. Well, I wouldn't exactly say we're inside that circle. Everyone thinks we're weird. Everyone thinks that we're delinquents. Y y you were ranting about that, like... The first few episodes of this series ever. And then you kind of just forgot that. But, um, well, I suppose we also have Kyo and Ryo. And, and the other people we find on the way. Although it's been protecting her all this time, it's also been isolating her. Our circumstances are polar opposites, but we're very much alike. This is the first time I've had that thought. Oh, there you go. You're different. You're, you're a freak. You're a freak. I wonder how the teacher's gonna feel about me ditching class last time. Prepare to get the bazooka out, ready aim fire, and then get the missile back in for a second round. How's this gonna go? What, nothing? How did you get away with that? Alright, sixth period is followed by homeroom, then the day comes to an end after that. And, you know, we don't actually care about the class thing. Okay, fine, whatever. Finally, school's out! Tsunohara stands up, his unbridled excitement contained only in the fist he repeatedly pumps into the air. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the end of the day as well, but normally I'm too exhausted for that shit. I guess he must have slept through some of it though. Wait, you were here? I've been sleeping next to you all afternoon. Wait, well, couldn't have been because we weren't here in the afternoon. Oh, wait, no. Is fourth period morning or afternoon? I kind of assumed it was afternoon, but like just the start of it and then lunch is at one kind of thing. Yeah, whatever. By the way, I was dreaming of the two of us eating po 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 pocky? Pokey? Pocky? Well, considering the R would be Rocky, I'm going to assume it's Pocky. Eating Pocky together. Ah! So you'll be coming along with me up to school this time, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go. A wonderful world is waiting out there for the two of us. If you say so, Sudahara picks up his bag and leaves the classroom. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Wait, aren't you coming? And you even said yeah this time, didn't you? Well, I thought I might be able to trick you again. Most people would be tricked by something like that. Man, that was fun. Okay, you can go now. And after all of that, you're not coming with me? Okazaki, if you keep doing this, I'm gonna make some new friends, damn it! Sunhara runs away after speaking his bizarre parting words. Mate, you fancy me. It's just not gonna happen, like, you know... You have to find a boy that has sexual preferences for you, and I'm pretty sure they're non-existent in this school of ours. I grab my bag too, and stand up. Alright, good time had by all. I'm at the usual corner of the hallway. We've we done this bit or not? Okay, we haven't, so... I kind of didn't recognise the pokey bit, so I'm kind of assuming that, you know, we hadn't done it before. Kotomi isn't here yet. Okay, I place my bag by my feet and lean against the wall. Who should I introduce her to today? My mind is buzzing with thoughts. The whole building is filled with after-school bustle. The hardcore hustle or the hardcore bustle. Students carrying their bags are walking home in a procession. Good. And we're waiting and she's not going to turn up, is she? Because, I don't know, she's abusing herself or some shit. So, something like that is going to come along. I'm going to be like, Aah! and then it's going to be like, oh, I'm actually an alien. And aliens aren't allowed on the planet Earth yet. Not for another 50 years. It's going to be stupid like that. And then Agent J and Agent K come along. And then it's like the series crashed down all over again. Kotomi is taking a long time to show up. I wonder why. I wait another 15 minutes. I hear the chime for a school announcement. 
Ichinose san of class 3A. Ichinose san of class 3A. Please come to the teacher's office. It's summoning Katomi. Interesting. Why would they be calling her? Is it because she's an honor student? Or is it about her truancy? It's hard to tell. Either way, it'll be a while before she gets here. But if she takes too long, the person I want her to meet might go home. While I'm wondering what to do, the chime rings again. It's Ichinose san of class 3A. Ichinose class... San of class 3A, sorry. It must be important for the same broadcast to repeat every five minutes. Maybe she's somewhere where she can't hear the announcement. No, I feel like this is something darker. Something dark is going on. A dark fiend-type Yu-Gi-Oh card. Alright, or a ghost-type Pokemon. Uh, fucking everyone likes Pokemon. I don't know what the Magic Gathering equivalent is, but I suppose the dark Duel Masters card is something. Dark... Attribute, duck, oh, whatever, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Or maybe she's already gone home. I'm starting to get worried. Maybe I shouldn't have forced her to meet new people. Or maybe she's had a sudden emergency. No, something dark. She's either been, like, beaten up or some shit, or she's, like, I don't know, hiding behind a bookcase. I don't think Katoni would break a promise or ignore the school announcement. Uh, right, this is my one decision of the day. Go to the teacher's office. Yes. I decided to go to the teacher's office. I don't want to be nosy, but knowing how stubborn Katomi is, I have to go. She might be frozen in indecision, not knowing which one to prioritize. Speaking of frozen indecision, what if she's reading a book and she's kind of lost in her world again? A whole new world, don't you dare close your eyes. And then she's just there for the rest of eternity, she's forgotten how to actually release herself from the fantasy world. I mean, we had that with that library scene when Sunahara was annoyed that, um... He was getting blanked. It doesn't seem completely impossible. Alright. Uh, not knowing what to prioritize. Wait, that'd make her a robot. The fact that it's possible is scary. There you go. Oh, wow, I haven't been here for a while. Excuse me. I make a half-hearted greeting and enter the teacher's office. The guidance counselor glares at me and turns away rather unsubtly. I look around and see the Class A home teacher stand up. It should know say hasn't come yet? What? She looks, oh, she looks at me strangely. I thought for some reason it'd be a guy. I don't know why my brain pictured that. I mean, I can even see her over there. Probably. Might be her. Probably not actually, but whatever. Okay, I'm not in any of her classes and I've never talked to her before, so I guess it's only natural. Um, I made a promise to meet with her. Meet with her? With Ichinosis, son? You? You don't have to be so blatant with your surprise. She didn't show up at our meeting place, so I thought she might have come here first. I just wanted to check. Oh, it's your nurse's son is meeting with you, huh? She sizes me up. Yeah, I know I look fuck ugly. I know I'm not exactly wearing the best of school uniform. No tie, no shoes, no shirt, but I'm still going to serve you. All right. You're okazaki kun from Class D, right? Yes, ma'am. After answering her, she smiles pointedly. You're pretty famous, you and sunahara kun In a different way from it's your son <laughs> Of course. <laughs> you piece of dog shit. Is that so? I'm annoyed at being paired with Sunahara, but I just nod obediently for now. If Ichinosa san promised to meet you first and didn't go, she probably isn't at school anymore. How do you know that? A similar thing has happened before. I'm almost positive that's the case this time. It's happened before? Well, see ya. If you're not in a club, you should go home too. After saying that, she quickly heads to the visitor's room. She's keeping a secret. She knows something. This isn't one of those things where it's like, I'm a piece of cock. Time for me to be a cock hole. No, this is that something's going on. There's something up with it, you know, so that I'm just not getting yet. But I try to think what that actually is. <laughs> I return to our meeting spot, uh, but as expected, Katomi still isn't here. Okay. Maybe she's like become a werewolf or something. Maybe she's like a daytime werewolf or the Hulk or some shit. I wait another 20 minutes before giving up. Oh, that sucks. What happened to her? Just as I bend over to pick up my bag, I hear the sound of campus shoes walking toward me. They stop in front of me. She's finally here. Really? I look up and smile. You're a little late today. Oh, yeah, some stuff happened. Well, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. Clearly, we have some kind of visual. Should have gone to spec savers or something, to be honest. We start walking together. Why are two guys walking together like friends? I don't get you! You're the one who's completely incomprehensible. Not as much as you. Oh, Jesus, okay. No, ah, no, I don't want to click on that. I think I activated sound. Not as much as you. 
Whatever, stop this stupid crap and let's go. Let's fuck right off, please. Huh? You weren't waiting for me. Not even for a second. <laughs> and now you're not impressed. Didn't you say you're a little late today? Your subconscious caused you to imagine it because you don't have any friends. I know you're being dodgy, but you're being a huge ass in the process. Then name one good friend of yours. One good friend? <laughs> you could name anyone. Come on, you could name Ryo, Kyo. Just say that you, you know, see her outside of being with Tomia. It would work. He couldn't just prove it. And of course you can't think of anyone because you're a f <laughs> I leave the lonely Sunahara behind. Well, clearly he couldn't name Tomia because God knows he's a great friend. <laughs> I don't All right, I gotta admit, that took me by surprise. Don't leave me here! He catches up to me filled with desperation. That was actually really well timed. Yo, yo! What? You're a good friend with delinquents and failures, but we're irreplaceable buddies, right? This manly piece of garbage faces me head on and starts saying a bunch of stuff. Sunahara? Okazaki. Oh, wow, that's a new face. He looks like a frog. The only funny thing about what happened was your face. <laughs> Thought I'd be some kind of, like, impressed octopus. I'm sorry. Who the hell do you think you are? A complete stranger. I did want the game to do it again, but I'm gonna break down if you do that. I leave him behind. <laughs> I fucking love it. Oh, this game. This game is. I'm in love with this game. I, I have to be if I've done like over 200 episodes. Jesus. What the hell? I'm gonna kick your ass. He catches up to me filled with desperation. Hello, stranger. Do you want something from me? I was kidding, please wait, don't say we're strangers, let's go together, please. What a lonely guy. If you insist, I guess I don't have a choice. I don't know how I ended up like this, but I decided to go with my self-proclaimed friend. Well, that's life. I don't get you, especially your life. Well, there you go, that's a life, we actually ditched him again, or is it gonna be a new? Oh cool, Illusionary World, and pretty sure we've done this. I don't see any reason to start dreaming again. Uh, is there a skip button? Yes, there is. Kind of a shame, because it really feels like there should be more of this illusionary world. Right, now what's happening? Fourth period begins. Do I have any choices on the 24th? <gasps> no! That sounds boring. Okay. I'm usually lazy, but I tend to perk up a bit around this time of day, so we can see our girl Kotomi, I guess. Kotomi is probably on her way to the library. I'm not convinced. Something's happened. A dog has eaten her homework and now she's on a quest to kill it, or some shit like that. I, on the other hand, am forced to kill time while staring daggers at the teacher's back. There's absolutely no opening. Yeah. Rather, he's totally got eyes in the back of his head. Couldn't, like, jump out the window, couldn't do a Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Being true on over the past few days must have triggered this. I'm trapped until the lunch bell rings. On top of that, the class runs long by five minutes. Ah, shit. Damn it! The moment the teacher leaves, I fly out of the classroom. Right, and of course, getting bread not gonna happen. Does it does it really matter that much though? I mean, she's bringing most of the lunch. I'm sure she wouldn't mind one time. It's a war zone at the bread shop. Look, that guy's got his hand up again. I swear, the amount of time I've seen that hand, I've actually got it memorized in my brain. And that guy's stupid face just below it, and you know, all the other gay faces around here. Although I've gotta say, you see that girl at the front, like just above where it says shop, She's having a fun time talking to her best friend, fucking nobody. That's new. And somehow this game still finds ways to surprise me. It's a war zone at the bread shop. Well, I can see that shit. The popular ones are all gone and I don't have time to chat with the lunch lady. I try to find a couple of good ones and push my way over to the cashier. I run up the stairs. All right, well, that was fun seeing that cafe again. As I approach the library, a tension that I've never felt before feels the air. The sign reads, open, please be quiet, instead of the usual closed. Does that mean anything in particular? Is it going to mean that I'm not going to see her and she'll think I ditched her or some shit? Before they take notice of me, I leave the area. Oh, what? I consider visiting Class A but decide against it in the end. Oh, that's going to have consequences. She's going to think that I ditched her, that I don't like her anymore because she's a nerd. 
Mm, okay, it's fine. I'm I'm just worrying over nothing. She's a smart, responsible, growing up person now. It doesn't mean she has to freak out over this. She doesn't have to. But she is, isn't she? I considered visiting class A, but decided against it in the end. Instead, I returned to my class and eat my bread alone. I chose the buns based on what I thought Katomi would like instead of the ones I'd prefer. Alright, I mean, that's your decision in life. Go, head, take it, do it. I bought out my mind during afternoon classes. Countless minutes dragged by as I tried to hold out. Sounds fun, sounds good for all. By the time I open my eyes, the final bell is ringing. Yeah, but are we going to be able to find her? I really hope we do. Homeroom has ended, and the students are leaving the classroom with their bags. Still drowsy, I look around. What is Katomi doing right now? The library is... probably open after school, so she wouldn't be there. We didn't promise to meet up, so she might not go today. Does Katomi still have any intention of waiting for me in the first place? Well, yes, but wouldn't it make more sense if she just went to a bookstore or something to, you know, snippy snip snip? I think of Katomi. I might only be introducing her to friends for my own self-satisfaction. This might be much more stressful for Katomi than I originally thought. She's so shy and terrible at human interaction. Sorry about my ancient no say there. <laughs> she might have decided not to see me anymore. Yeah! Hello to my coach. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't expect that for some reason. Well, I'm glad you're alive. Mm. Hello. <laughs> mm. Um. Good. No. Oh! I thought it was just the library. No! But if you want to play the game for yourself and listen to the sweet sound of violins, there'll be a link to the game in the description down below. And without further ado, look up for book scrub chance next time. See ya!